All right, guys, welcome to episode 94 of Dope Talk TV's Yours Truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, got Aubrey in the back, got Remy over there. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. And if you haven't, hold my set, all right? We're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. Light your J, light your blunt, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, get your dab rigs ready, whatever you want to do, man. You already know how the fuck we rock, man. We appreciate y'all. We're back with another one, episode 94. Oh, man, we're getting close. You know, I took a little, getting you know, close I took a to little shot, hunt. but I'm not going to tell you the name of what I shot it with. Mm, but you it was a can, shot, though. You guys can tell from the bottle what I'm drinking, and I had one shot of it mm, this morning. We call, cool, Call man. me an alcoholic. That's fine. We but coolin', bro. I had one this morning just to get just to get things a little bit spicy. Round of applause for the alcoholics out there that feel like you need to take shots by 11 a.m., all right? Just by we one. In here. Maybe once. <laughs> Maybe one. I'm feeling holy today. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck nah, it. But we out here. Hey, man, we're back, bro. We're back. It's a fucking beautiful day, bro. It's beautiful. I'm feeling good. Beautiful day. We we celebrated the birthday. Yeah, yeah. man. You know hey, round of applause to my guy. Yeah, His man. birthday. You know what I'm saying? was the day before yesterday and uh yeah bro it was a, it was a smooth time you know what i'm saying it was good we had a vibe a little he, he got a little penthouse and stuff like that yeah, yeah. and um it, was a, it was a productive day for my boy man he <laughs> shot a music video it was his birthday had a little birthday party at the penthouse downtown orlando yeah. like it was a vibe and people came through shout out to every single one of y'all you know what i'm saying round of applause for everybody that came through and showed love to my boy yeah but, for um, real it means a lot to me man it's just yeah. the little things that count you know what I mean? Just the little fucking things that count. You know what I noticed, bro? What's that, bro? What's that? Let's get into it. What are we, uh, are we gonna just jump into that? Let's or? get it. Let's jump into it. All right, just consistency, man. I know. I, I know. I'm swapping bro. it. You know, um, but consistency. I really feel like if you keep your word with something over throughout a time, like that can get you somewhere. Yeah, no nah, facts. It's not like consistency. Yeah, bro, you you got to keep your word, but it's it's more than just that. It's yeah. just you got to do it for you, bro. Like consistency yeah. should ultimately be something that that you want to do for yourself. It gives you gratification, you know, a sense of accomplishment, and you accomplish things once when you do it consistently. You you get to it. You yep. know, it might take you a while. It might not. It depends. Being consistent, yeah. Like, but being consistent, man, like your work ethic with it, you know, it just show, it just backs up with your work ethic. Because anybody could say, oh yeah, I'm really good at this, and I do this all the time. But like, all right, so what's your track record? What do you have? Are you consistent with with whatever you're doing? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Listen, man, talent. Talent and work ethic are two different things. Like there's a there are people, in my opinion, for real, there are artists and stuff that are more talented than Jay Z. They're more talented than Drake. Yeah. But they don't have the work ethic. Yep. They don't go to the studio enough. They don't they just don't have the work ethic or the consistency to be able to to grow what they need to grow. And it's it that's really what it comes down to, man. The con- bro, the consistent person is always gonna come out ahead. They're always gonna be ahead. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, work ethic is gonna beat talent all day for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Like Rick Ross said it, man. You you gotta you gotta find people that have passion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If if you're doing something, you know, you know what I mean? You gotta find people that have the passion for it because if not, then they're not gonna go hard with, for it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like it doesn't even matter what you do, bro. Yeah, like if that's you got anything. Yeah. That's yeah. what anything, bro. That's what anything. Like any you got passion, any type of business, any type of any type of accomplishments you want to you want to accomplish in your life, like you got to have passion for what you do, and people will be able to tell whether you have passion or not. You know, yep. it just it just shows. It just shows. It yeah. shows in your work. Yep. It shows in your work. It shows in your so work. So, guys, if a lot of you guys are, are, are starting podcasts and stuff, like you know, John and I ain't no fucking experts, but we've been doing this for two years now, bro. Yeah, it's been you know two years. It don't feel in, like it. In a month, but fuck. in a month, July 29th will mark exactly two years. <laughs> That we've been doing this. So it gets hard, bro. It gets hard, man. Shit happens behind the scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You lose people. You know what I mean? Like shit. But consistency is key through anything. Through yep. anything. Like, so ultimately is like, guys, just stay consistent. If you want to start a podcast, start it. Just know it's not going to be easy. It's going to take a while for you to grow your following. It, might, it may not. There's some people that, you know, they could grow to 100,000 followers in six months. Congratulations to yeah, you guys. That's great. But most people, it'll yeah. take you years yeah, to get to that. It, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like loyal, organically. Yeah, you organically. Yeah, organically. Or you could pay for it. But it's it's really easy to tell. Like when people are like, okay, yeah. Like uh, they don't have like 
consistent people like under their under their their videos and shit like that they don't have any like real following like you know mm -hmm. what i mean that's important bro like it's just a number at the end of the day so it's like what happens if you want to give out merch or you, you want to do like or maybe you need some help for the business and you need some, you need some donations you know people are not going to give a fuck about you yeah bro it's like it's like man if they really support you and really want to help you out they'll donate and that's that's just love right there you know you yeah, need people that's just love but yeah. uh, ultimately bro like in my opinion like you, you shouldn't expect shit from nobody. Like, yeah, you if they don't, if you donate, cool, man. We yeah. appreciate you helping the cause. If you don't, we still appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Watching just, and supporting. But yeah. like, nah, I agree. Ultimately, bro, you there's a difference between having following and being able to sell, being able to do something with that following. For example, Bad Baby, bro, she has like I don't know how many millions of fucking followers on Instagram, millions on millions. But when she did some show in in New York, she literally couldn't sell over a hundred tickets. Yeah, exactly. Think about there's that. There's no genuine. Love there's no for, genuine. Nah. There's no genuine support. They yeah. just want to watch what you're doing. But it's like there's no genuine support, bro. If you have uh, if you have four million people and you can't sell a hundred tickets out of those four million people, yeah. there's a problem. Yeah, there's a problem. And you like got it's management. either the yeah, it's either the the views are fake, the the uh, followers are fake, or something, something. But yeah, guys, like just stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? Don't fake it till you make it. That's the stupidest fucking advice. Just stay down, stay humble, keep your head forward, bro, and keep working. You'll get there. Keep You'll going. Get there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know somebody that didn't have to fucking work too hard <laughs> to make any type of money, guys. This is amazing. There was a, a art piece that was sold, an invisible art piece, by the way. Invisible, guys. You got to use your imagination to see the art. It's an invisible art piece. It <laughs> sold for eight. Eighteen thousand dollars. I'll show you something fucking invisible, bro. Bro, I really, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'll show you some invisible art, bro. Bro, you see this money. Rolex? Look at that. A hundred bands. Look at that fucking Rolex. Fucking look how beautiful it is. Just zoom in right here. Look, look, look. look at that shit. Oh my god. I'm see, telling you, bro. This, it, hey, it, look, it, look. So whoever want to hit me up for this Rolex right here, bro. Hundred bands. Hundred bands. I style all the way. People that do Pop art. In the DM. People that do art is just probably like laughing at us because they're like, man, that's art, man. Regardless, man. You it's don't art. understand art. <laughs> yeah, you it's know, like, listen, it's like it could be anything. I that don't want to understand art if 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 that's what art is, nigga. An invisible. It's just a frame. It's just a frame. Nothing in it. No canvas. Nothing. Yeah. It's just a frame. Just and then you look through it and you use your imagination. Oh, shit. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> That's man. it. Yo, That's you really, it. You, you really like fantasize. You close your eyes. And <laughs> no, no. You got to uh, open them. Well, but you gotta, oh, shit. <laughs> So you got to open them now. You got to open them and look at it and look at nothing and then imagine it. And then close your eyes and then you'll see it. Oh, wow, that's deep. It's amazing. Yeah. I really round yeah. of applause, matter of fact, to the art yeah, artist that did that. Yeah, we might great. just be hating. He might be genius. No, he might be genius. <laughs> I'm not even playing with you. Yo, that was actually yo, we thought that when we were thinking about this shit, we were talking about it. We we're like, you know what? We should just talk about this on the podcast. And nah, then like facts. now we're looking like fucking morons because it's it's actually it's kinda actually kind of fucking genius, man. <laughs> I'll go get four two by fours, bro, and just make a frame, sell it for 20 rags, all right? No, that's horrible. But nah, bro, staying on a similar topic man there was a fucking there was a nugget a nugget that looked like a minion supposedly it was in the shape of a minion that sold for a hundred thousand dollars guys listen man i know these ppp loans came in Damn, bro. <laughs> i know these motherfucking fha loans came in all this shit came in bro a nugget a nugget for a hundred thousand dollars bro that nugget better fucking run my banking for me, bro. That nugget better fucking top me off at the end of the night for a hundred bands. Bro, that nugget better start tap dancing <laughs> on my fucking dresser when I go to sleep, bro. When I'm, I want to show, bro. You know what I mean? This shit better start doing something, man. Because a nugget, bro? You know what they say? Is, you know these McDonald nuggets, they last forever, bro. Like, they don't fucking... Like, hey, bro, yeah. They're, like, like, made, like, half out of plastic, I yeah, guess. Or yeah, bro. So, like, they basically takes, like three days to digest or some shit i'm just guessing i'm not i'm not saying facts three but days, yeah but it's like i don't it's know something, i don't think you shit that out i don't I, I think it gets it's stuck in your Bell. yeah it gets stuck in like your colon and shit or you're fucking somewhere I'll, I'll tell you what man 
a fucking nugget <laughs> for a hundred bands. I'll tell you what, man. A hundred <laughs> bands ain't really shit nowadays. I guess you know. No, nah, hundred bands is a hundred fucking bands. It's a hundred thousand. It's a hundred thousand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's not no small money, bro. You could you could make a lot shake with a hundred thousand. But yeah, guys, if you guys think that 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 type of art is worth that type of money, go down in the comments, man, and let us know what you guys think about it. We think it's fucking stupid. I personally would never in my life spend eighteen grand on a frame or a hundred bands on a nugget. But hey man, to each their own. On a nugget. Round of applause for the rich people that have enough money to do that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. I aspire to have your bank account one day. Cause that's fucking crazy. That's wild. To that's me. crazy. That's but wild. To yeah, me. man. Going back into some a little bit more serious, man. Being a man in your word, right? I feel like nowadays, um, a lot of men have gotten, I'm going I'm to focus on just men right now. A lot of men have gotten comfortable with just not being men of their word, you know, with, with anything, you know, with anything. And it's, it's, I feel like we need to get back to, to having respect for other people and ultimately just that be, being a man of your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Yeah. If you say you're going to be somewhere, be somewhere. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If you say you're going to be on time, be on time. Like, be a man of your word because ultimately, that's all you're worth. I don't give a fuck. You could be a billionaire. If niggas know you for not being, you know, like, a man of your word, they're not really going to fuck with you. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't care how much money you got. If you're not a man of your word, bro, and I can't trust you with, with what you say and what you say you're going to do. Yeah, I just can't rely on you. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna hit up the people that I can rely on that I know that's going to be there, like, yeah, for any situation, too. You know what I mean? Like, you got to think of it like that. Like, I want to be the guy that you call when you need help. Mm -hmm. I want to be the guy that you call when you, you know, just for anything. You see what I'm saying? Like, just anything. Like, I want to be that guy. You know what I mean? But everyone's different. People have different priorities of, you know, it just shows. Action shows. Yeah, bro. A lot you of know? the times, though, bro, we, we got to take accountability yeah. because as humans, man, we, we're hypocritical a lot of the time. We're hypocrites, man. And, you know, sometimes we might be doing to other people what, what we feel like they're doing to us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's just like two wrongs never make a right, man. And you just you got to hold yourself accountable, bro. Hold yourself accountable. Not yeah. have somebody else hold you accountable. Yeah. Like and Just continue. Just being just being a man of your word. Being a man of your word is important, man. And and we got to start teaching the younger the younger guys coming up that like, bro, just do what you say, say what you mean and and just stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Stand on it cuz that's all you got, bro. I'm telling you as men, that's all you got. All you got is your nutsack and your fucking word. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's from Scarface, by the way. That's fact. Yeah, yeah. shout out Scarface, yeah, man. Round of applause yeah. to Scarface. Piece of shit character. <laughs> Never fucking liked the guy. All right? Yo. But no, nah, it was a out. good movie. It was a good movie. No, nah, it's, yeah, it's a great a, movie. Yeah, it's a great the movie. The movie's fucking amazing. Yeah, the, yeah, the movie's great. But the person is it's just like shitty. the Irishman, man. Yeah. I fuck, Guys, listen. Shout yeah, out to, to the Irishman, movie, bro. Man. It's one of the longest movies that has come out in the last couple years. But in my opinion, it's one of the best, bro. That's going to be a classic. Mark my words, guys. In the next 20 years, you're going to see mad awards for that movie. Jesus. I'm serious. A movie's a classic. It has some of the best actors in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's true. It has uh, De Niro. It has freaking uh, Al Pacino. It has Pesci. You know, it has, it has a, bro, those are great. No, it was great scenes too. Like yeah. people were dying. It's people were dying. <laughs> they were speaking facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they were speaking facts and through a lot of that movie. But, but yeah, man, that's a crazy lifestyle to live, bro. I don't think I could do it, bro. Being in the mafia? Shit, yeah. It's just too much stress, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the end when you start getting into have, like starting a family you got kids now and you got to fucking watch your back in their it's back a, yeah it's, it's like, a different time though like think about it like you got true. a lot you got a lot more fucking technology now that's like it's yeah. so hard to even fucking these niggas got away with murder literally yeah. like <laughs> they yeah, got like, away with everything like with everything so i i don't know man i don't know um i wouldn't do it personally yeah no no i wouldn't do it bro there's other there's other avenues that you could take in life that are just as lucrative money wise and shit and yeah. you'll be you'll be good you don't have to be worrying about cops. You don't have to be worrying about other gangsters trying to kill you and shit. You'll be all right. You'll, you'll be, be all right. right. You'll be but all right. But you know who's going to be all right, man? Round of
round of applause to my dog, Pedro, bro. I fucking love this guy. Yesterday, bro, we went through a fucking mission just to fix my PlayStation 4. Yo, I had to replace Xbox. the hard drive. Xbox or I PlayStation? I replaced the hard drive. You know what I'm saying? I turned it on. We had to spend literally, we spent like six hours trying to figure out. I forgot my old email that my fucking PSN Yo, account was. was pissed. Bro, all day, bro. It was a fucking merry-go-round, bro. I was pissed. <laughs> but guess what, guys? Round of applause on my dog he Pedro. He, he got, got that it. shit, he got that man. shit man. And man. he fixed my shit. And I don't I don't have to go out and buy another PS4 or PS5 or, and spend four, five, six, eight hundred dollars. It was a fifty dollar yeah. fix. My shit's yeah. fixed. All my games are being downloaded right now. I still got my fucking PlayStation yeah. Network, bro. I'm a happy camper. Thank you, Pedro. Yeah. But I got yeah, Xbox, man. man. Fuck that. I'm man, an Xbox fuck. type of guy. So hey, if you bro, guys, if our you guys hard drives go out after six years, but them hey. niggas' batteries die every ten hours. Hey, so that's true. It's a you pick and which choose one, one. Which one are you? Let one me know. Fi one fix every seven years or batteries every ten hours. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, <laughs> well, yo, we'll let you decide. <laughs> Go ahead and comment. If you're an Xbox fan, then go Xbox, ahead and comment, uh, man. If Xbox or fucking PlayStation. Y'all let, let us know what y'all rocking man. with. But For real. Nah, bro. Pedro impressed me, man. You know what I'm saying? I went over to the crib, man, and I hadn't been over there in a while. And Bro, this nigga has a freaking 3D printer and shit. Like, he's printing shit and making stuff. And, like... You can be That's in. dope, bro. Like, it, nah, it's just dope, bro. It's, it's super different. dope. Different. Like, it's, it's different, you know, and... and it's innovative, bro. Like, not too many people nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Like, Have that. Yeah, or interested in it. Yeah. That's art, too. Think yeah, about it. it is art. That's some art. It is art. You could literally design your own stuff. Like, you could design different little shapes, whatever. Like, it's not it's not a crazy 3D printer, because there's levels, of course. There's 3D printers that are 300. There's 3D printers that are fucking 10 bands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they can so, make different shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, it just... But it's dope, man. Shout out to you, Pedro. I'm proud of you, bro. Like, that shit was super, super dope. I was impressed. Like, I was impressed. That shit was dope. Yeah, that's... I mean, everybody has their own interests, man. And me, personally, I'm not really, like, interested in that. But, like, I like to see other people do it, if that makes sense. Like, it's pretty yeah, cool. Like, like, yeah, exactly. It's not something that I'm going to, like, oh, I'm going to go get a 3D printer now. But it's, yeah. like... It was cool to see, you know, and it was cool to see something different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I've ne I've never seen a 3D printer in person. I don't know how I didn't know how they worked. You know what I'm when saying? Did, like, I didn't even know when they came out. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I know. I can't Pedro. tell you. Hey, that's hey. Pedro. Hey. That nigga knows. <laughs> that nigga knows. Yeah, but, that's wild to me, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's just listen, man. If you like something, guys, don't let nobody ever talk you out of doing it. Go ahead and do it, and and you know what I'm saying? Like, be you. Just be you, bro. Whoever the whoever fucks with it, fucks with it. Whoever doesn't, then oh well. It don't yeah. matter. Facts. Yeah. Facts. But listen, guys, we've been back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, like, and sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And listen, guys, again, for we're going through this every fucking time. Yeah. Only 20% of y'all <laughs> are fucking subscribed. Just check us out, bro. Just check us out. Hit the subscription button. If you don't like us, fuck out of here. Hold fuck my sack. Fuck out of you here. You know what I'm saying? Hold my sack and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. But we, the rest of y'all, we love you, Dope Talk family. Thank you for rocking with us. We've been back with another one. Stay blessed. God bless. And tell somebody you love them. Peace. Peace.